Hey guys, how's it going? Just a quick video today. There's a couple of aircraft that the sounds, when they're brought from Flight Sim 2020 and you put them into 2024, sometimes the sounds don't seem 100% correct. I think that's to do with how EQ is used using the new Sim. What we're going to do today, we found a freeware app you can download for the PC and this legitimately will change how your aircraft can sound. We're using the Lancaster brand new release here from Airplane Heaven. We're going to use this as our example. So at the moment, everything is default. The aircraft sitting on the ground here at the awesome freeware Duxford. But what I want to do, we're going to run the engines, let you hear them as they are default. And then using this new app, have a listen to what they sound like then. Okay, so before we get started, we're going to head over to this website and it's sourceforge.net. I'll keep all these in the description below and uh, all you do, you download Equalizer APO. That's the name of this freeware plugin. So you download it, you put it anywhere you want. I have mine on my desktop and you then, once it's installed, uh, you'll find a little app that says Equalizer APO configuration. So we're going to open up this file here. Now, looking at this interface, we can see uh, a couple of things. Basically, it's a graphic equalizer. We can choose 15 or 31 band channels, or we can go with variable. For this, start, start somewhat simple. We're going to go with a 15 band. Now, I need to bring your attention to this stuff up here. This is kind of how the app works. The config.txt, think of this as the master profile. If you want to create your own this one here, for example, says lank.txt. And what you need to do is when you save it, you need to rename it to override config text. The app will only activate, if you like, whatever's called config test. So everything's turned off at the moment, right? We can close off all these other ones. And I have everything turned off at the moment. Now let's bring some sound in. And this is the Lancaster default sounds in Flight Sim 24. And it has to be said, the sounds are quite good. Echo 19 is the author behind these sounds, but there's something about Flight Sim 2024, the equalizer, it's a little bit different. So, instead of having to wait for an update, well, let's just have a listen. So these are the default sounds. If I were to activate this program here, have a listen. So you can hear the difference straight away. Now, all I need to do here is when I turn on the graphic, the graphic equalizer, right? I can start messing around with any of these variables. Just have a listen. So we can absolutely have a lot of fun changing how your aircraft sounds. And so only goes with that. This works with any aircraft on any flight simulator. In actual fact, this will work with any game. If you want to take full control over your sounds and you might say, Murph, really? I mean, it comes to this. It really does. Most people, me included, probably wouldn't have thought, hey, a simple EQ can actually fix a lot of the sounds on certain aircraft. So once you've made your changes and you're happy with it, you can just save it as config.txt. Now, for example, if we wanted to make a new sound, let's drop the bass out of this completely, right? I'm gonna bring up the sound so you can hear it. There's no bass here. So I'm gonna save this as its own file, right? And we're gonna call it no bass. Great. Now, if we want to load this back in, you'll notice there's no changes. That's because we need to load in first the config file, our master one. And see this no base? If we save this now as config, override it. When we turn this on, now we can control it once more. If we wanted to go back to a previous file, again, I'm going to click on open. I'm going to use my config master. That's the one I call, I called it that earlier on. I'm going to go back into this config one, turn it off, close it. And this config master, even though I turn it on or off, doesn't make any changes, right? But we're going to save this file now and we're going to override the config, hit save. Now listen when I turn it back on.
So there you have it. So if you'd like, I mean, you can name all of these different profiles, call them to whatever aircraft that you want. Uh, and then when you want to activate it, just make sure you save it as config.txt. It overrides the master one. And you just turn on the switch and you're good to go. How could something so simple be just, you know, unknown of? We don't know. But anyway, I hope this video has helped. Uh, these particular settings that I use, the file, I'll pop it over on our Discord if you want to ramble over there. Uh, you can grab that file. Just remember, it'll be saved as lank.txt. When you upload it or open it inside the Equalizer APO, APO uh, program, just rename it, save as config, and then you'll be able to fully edit each and all the sounds. Right, it's time for flying. So uh, I hope this video, you found it helpful. If you did, do be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe and notification bell. You know all the stuff. But uh, right, I'm away now and uh, we'll chat to you soon.